Hello crafty friends! My name's Alicia, but you can call me Crafty Owl. And welcome to my stop on the June Oh So Inspired Collaboration Hop. I hope you'll stick around to see who inspired us this month and what I'm going to create. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If this is your first time to my channel, I hope that by the end of this video, you'll be inspired to click on that subscribe button below and ring the bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here again. Each month here on YouTube, I host a collaboration called Oh So Inspired. And as you hop along today to each of the artist's videos, you'll see our take on the same inspiration piece. Some of us might use a layout, the color combo, maybe just a small detail from the card. It's always fun to see how each of us are inspired. This month, our inspiration piece is by Sherry Gilson, and the card is up on screen now. I will have a link to that card specifically, as well as Sherry's social media down in the description box below, so I hope that you'll go leave her some love. The first things that I noticed from the card today were the big bold florals, that color combo, and how her background is kind of white on white, but that further back or backmost layer has some embossing. My card, while taking those things into consideration, will look a little different. I knew that I wanted to do florals, and recently this Calls for Confetti sent me their new Alice's Story stamp coordinating dies and some other goodies. Which, by the way, make sure to stick around so you hear the story behind Alice's Story. Initially, I fell in love with that blue and red together, and I really thought that that was going to be the focal point or the main takeaway from Sherry's card. But because this calls for confetti shared this pretty yellow mix with me, it's the honeysuckle mix, I thought I would do blue and yellow. So I'm going to switch that up a little bit, but I will be doing still that kind of white on white background and doing a fun frame using the Hello Elongated Frame die set. I will be adding some other products and tools and I'll have those listed down in that description box below. Once you're done watching my process today, I hope you'll go check out the rest of the artists. You can use the playlist that is linked down in the description box and it's also found at the end of this video as a card. I know that everybody would love for you to stop by, see what they created and leave them some love. Let's get crafty! I'm going to get started today with the stamping and for this I will be using both of the floral images from the set as well as the little thank you sentiment. I got all three stamps set up on a piece of alcohol friendly cardstock and I will be stamping with some alcohol friendly ink as well. Once those were picked up with the door of the Misty, I did take a minute and run my fingers over the top to remove the manufacturing oils since these are new stamps. And also because they're new stamps, I did ink them up and stamp them twice to get a nice solid black. When I was laying them out there on the piece of cardstock, I also made sure to leave enough room for die cutting later. To color the images, I'll be using a couple alcohol markers, and since the areas I have to color are so little, I'm just going to use one shade of blue and one shade of yellow. While I do the coloring, I thought I would tell you more about what makes the Alice's Story Collection extra special. Not only was it this calls for confetti's very first stamp and coordinating die set, but it was also created in honor of Lisa's mother, who is the owner of this calls for confetti. The image and sentiment were inspired by a favorite family holiday tradition. Now to get more details, which I hope you'll click on it, I have a link in the description box below to the blog post. I was extra touched by this set because recently it was the one year anniversary of my mother's passing and she loved, loved, loved anything that had to do with flowers and gardening. So as I created today's card, I definitely had her on my mind. 
Once I finished coloring the images, I brought in the coordinating die set. I chose both of the florals and then one of the rectangles for the sentiment. I also brought in a scrap of yellow cardstock to cut the vase out of. Also, while I was off camera, I cut the frame from the Hello Elongated Frame die set and I embossed a piece of white cardstock with a Brit background. I thought this would be a good juxtaposition between the softness of the florals and then the harshness of the bricks. The next thing I did was figure out where all of the pieces could go and still fit on the card front. So I laid down the oval frame in the center of the embossed brick area and then I played with the stems and tilted them and moved them until it would all fit on the front. Once I had it all set, I used a piece of removable tape to hold everything together and then I turned the piece around and I trimmed off the leaves that would kind of stick out from the vase just so it looked more like they were right down in there. Then once that was done, I brought in my liquid glue and I started adhering everything together, putting glue where the pieces overlapped. And then finally, I got my vase with the flowers placed onto the oval frame. While everything was drying off camera, I created a top fold blue card vase and I went ahead and added some foam sticky strips to the back of my sentiment and the frame with the vase. To start the card assembly, I added adhesive to the back of the embossed panel, and since the back isn't flat, I did make sure to add a little extra. Then I placed this on the front center of the card base, so there was just like a nice blue mat all the way around. I pulled all the release paper from the back of the foam tape on the frame and then to help get this straight and give me a little bit of wiggle time, I brought in my liquid glue and put some on top of all of that foam tape. Then when I go to put it on the card, I can move it around a little bit and adjust it until I think it's nice and centered. Then I pulled the release paper from the back of the sentiment and got that added in the middle. I wanted to add a little bit of sparkle to finish the card off, so I brought in that honeysuckle mix and I scattered some across the front of the card, going kind of from the upper left down to the bottom right. I placed dots of glue where I would want a confetti or a little shaker piece, and then I used a tool to pick and place those. Also, while I was off camera letting this dry, I did do a little ink blending on a piece that went on the inside to bring the yellow to that and add a little more decoration. And here are some close-up looks at the finished card. I hope you enjoyed seeing how I was inspired to create today's card using the new goodies from this Calls for Confetti. If you did, as always, a thumbs up is appreciated. Now don't forget to visit the rest of the team's videos by using the end card here in a second or the link in the description box below. Until my next video, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. I hope now you'll consider clicking on one of the videos or playlists I have linked above. And if you are interested in any of the products or tools I used in today's video, I do have some links in the description box below.